Welcome to the start of second round play in the Salt Lake City region, where we've got a matchup between 4th seeded Utah and 20th seeded Toronto. The winner will advance to play either the Oklahoma City Thunder or the Orlando Magic in the Elite Eight. For the Jazz, they got out to a huge lead in their first round matchup in the first half, but then they lost the lead following a huge scoring output from Kawhi Leonard. They were able to make a fourth quarter comeback and secure the victory to move on to the second round game. They'll still have a size advantage down low, as we all know the Raptors are playing small ball, but Toronto does have yet another Kawhi Leonard, which I'm sure the Jazz aren't too crazy about facing once again. The Raptors, on the other hand, they out-hustled the Mavericks in round one, despite being a smaller team. The Jazz are once again a better team on paper, by the looks of it, so Toronto will have to bring their good stuff to knock off the top seed in this region. Let's get you to tip off. And the Jazz start out with the ball. Now let's take a look at Toronto's starting lineup. Kyle Lowry out there with DeMar DeRozan. Then there's Kawhi Leonard. And it's Carter in at the three spot. Here's Stockton. Five to shoot. Fires from 14. A rebound by Boss. Easy chance for mid-range. Wouldn't be surprised to see them run that play again. That's good. And so Lowry with the assist. Smart playmaking by Kyle, moving the ball to a guy with a good look. Here's Danley. There's the drive. DeRozan with the rebound. I'll tell you what, I think he thought that was going in. I sure did. Lowry outside. There's the triple. Buries it from three. What quickness from Kyle. He gets the ball and is gone in seconds. They need something good to happen here. Yeah, they've gone way too long without a score. Pass to Danley. And just a great job of getting there first and absorbing the contact. Lowry outside. Here's Carter. Back to Lowry. Another shot. Carter, good. Just taking it right to the rim, and no one was there to greet him. Wow, that's a defensive breakdown. Can't do that against good scores. Here's Stockton. There's a screen. Down low. Malone. Nice assist and nice finish. Solid play all the way around. And that ends their drought. You could feel the frustration building with each miss. Frustrating beginning for them, but we have a long way to go. Now they just need to string together some buckets. And the basket by DeRozan. <laughs> An outstanding first quarter from the field. Pass to Maravich. Here's Danley. Here's Maravich to the right side. Six to shoot. Three-pointer. The rebound by Boss. The Raptors with a lead. With a lead. Pass to Carter. Oh, there's the alley. Here's Danley. He's checked by Carter. And he was camped in the lane there. He gets a three-second call. And we're about three minutes into this first quarter. To the middle. Rebound, Utah. That could have been an easy pass and finish. Not really sure what went wrong. It started off looking good, but the timing was just a little off. And sometimes that's all it takes. Now here's Lowry. And again, no good by Toronto. Here's Maravich. That three's off the mark. DeRozan outside. Pass to Carter. Back to DeRozan. They set the pick. Down to five on the shot clock. And Josh gets it to go. I love this approach. Getting him involved early, and it's already paying off. It makes sense, right? You're trying to get off to a fast start, and he can help with that. Here's Stockton. Well, he hasn't put up any points yet in this one. And he gets the friendly roll as that one goes. And despite the defender's length, he goes right up from the mid-range. And you know what? There was probably a better matchup on the floor, but when it goes in, nobody complains. 
off the mark once again. Terrible quarter for him thus far. Pass to Maravich. Here's Stockton. Fires top of the key. And again, it's Utah. They're getting him shots in his spots. That's understanding your personnel. Leonard up again. Great positioning on the putback. Just great position to get the rebound, then get it back up. Here's Danley. And he was fouled in the act of shooting. Opportunity for a three-point play here. One shot. Ooh, he has a lot of tools in the toolkit. That right there was just one of them. That's his first personal foul. First team foul. Find the lane. Find the lane. One shot. Here's Toronto with the ball. DeRozan outside. Leonard right side. Off the mark from 16 feet. Great contest of the shot. Kind of forced him to fade back more than he'd like. They set a pick. Here's Stockton. Misses off the right iron. To the left side wing. Back to DeRozan. And he lobs it up to the rim. Here's Malone. Pass to Danley. Here's Maravich. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. It's going to go on Kawhi Leonard. <laughs> no debate there. He got hammered. Out the line for the Jazz. Pete Maravich. Two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Ties it up, and his next one could give him the lead. And now they lead as the free throw drops in for him. That's what he does. Rock solid at the line. Lowry, the pass to Leonard. The three. Lowry, no good. He's kind of lost his way this period, having a hard time getting anything to go down. Pass to Malone. Ooh, anticipated the pass. It's a turnover. To the inside. And the dunk by Leonard. Finishing that possession with an exclamation mark. Kawhi making his presence felt. Here's Malone. Leonard defending. Pass to Stockton. Clock at six. On target from range. He's got seven. Rock solid screen right there. The defender got completely lost. Hey, if you're not going to fight over, you're essentially giving the shooter the look he wants. So far, rebounding has been a focal point for them. BA, the one hand dunk just looks so fluid. Yeah, absolutely. Even smooth when he's powering at home like that. Now here's Lowry. Here he goes. It's blocked. And they recover it. And the basket by DeRozan. Utah leading. Here's Stockton. Seven points in the game. Over to the wing. Here's Maravich. And it's Utah scoring again. Some guys just understand how to generate points. He's one of them. And the Raptors call time here. And as the coaches draw up their strategies, the players staying hydrated with some Gatorade. That's key to keeping them at their best all the way up to the buzzer. It really is. And every one of those players knows it. They're all making sure to stay hydrated. It's impossible to play your A game if you're not getting enough to drink, especially towards the end of games when the physical toll of a long contest really starts to add up.
the jazz dancers dance team makes a little audience floating fans. Here's Leonard. Here's Stoudemire, picked by Carter. And the basket by Stoudemire. Hey, that right there was a lot of confidence, given the size of the disadvantage there. And also a lot of skill. This is exactly the type of thing you practice for over and over again. Here's Stockton. He's got seven. That one goes in. Throughout the evening, he's gotten to his spots, and the defense has not adjusted. Here's McGrady. No good on the triple. Here's Maravich. Blocked! And it's out of bounds. Still Utah's ball. An outstanding defensive play to earn the mobile one block. You know, you can't ask for any better defense than that. He responded so fast to the shooter, and it stifled him. And the Jazz with possession here. They lead by four. Here's Carter. Yes, and it's Leonard with the assist that time. Carter's got his second basket of the game. Great vision on that pass. Kawhi moving it to the open teammate. To the paint. Here's Gobert. At home. Woo! Putting on a show for the fans. Going up for the graceful reverse. Oh, that had a little extra sauce on it, Grant. And he'll take a trip to the line for two. Clearly got fouled on that shot. And Utah gets called to the foul. And a moment now to quickly take a look at the offensive approach for Utah. Their passing has been excellent here early. A lot of their baskets coming off and insist. That should set a great tone for the rest of the game. They're showing some muscle here in the first half as well and getting a lot of their points in the paint. And he makes a first. Good on both. When your bigs can make free throws, it's a huge advantage. Love his approach to get to the line. Passed him alone. Banked it in off the glass. And Utah leads by four. Attacking the defense with the pass. Don't need to be a hero. Here's Stoudemire. From the high post. Rebounded by Stockton. Hayward against Leonard. Hayward to pass to Gobert. And he takes it in for the layup off a very nice feed. And now it's a six-point Utah UD. Into the lane. Stoudemire. Foul called. Looked like the D didn't get there in time. And he'll shoot free throws. Second team foul. Utah foul. Gordon Hayward. That's his first personal foul. Second team foul. At the line for the referee. Damon Stoudemire. Two shots. And he drops a first. Both teams deciding to change it up. Both good from the line that time. And Utah has possession. Four-point game. Pass to Hayward. There's the three. He can't hit that time. And it's Toronto taking it the other way. Here's Peterson. He was too aggressive. That's already his second foul. We haven't even gotten out of the first quarter. Good passing to set that up. Teamwork on display. Shooting for Toronto, Andre Bargnani, taking two shots. Two, two. Good 
The first free throw is good. And it's tied up with that one. A minute 15 left in the first. Pass to Mitchell. Williams from long range. Siakam pulls down the board. He didn't make them pay for that weak defense, but they just can't rely on him to miss those kind of shots. Here's Stoudemire. Williams defending. The shot by Stoudemire, no good. Pass to Kirilenko, and he caught that pass in full stride on his way to the big slam. This is who you want leading that play, a sure passer with great awareness. Here's Stoudemire. Here's McGrady. Oh, he misses the go-ahead basket. Outside, Williams. Here's the pick. One second left. That one is off. Well, a good close contest so far as we finish the first quarter. Jazz out in front, up by two. Stay with us now as we get set to bring you quarter number two after this. This has been a fairly close game through the first quarter. We'll see what happens here in the second. And from what we've seen from the Jazz, what's your take so far? You know, they've been relentless in how they attack the paint. They came in looking to attack from the get-go, willing to be physical and setting the tone. Toronto trailing. They've got Rudy Gobert. Mitchell out there with Gordon Hayward. And it's Williams in at the point guard position. That's the five on the floor for the Jazz. First free throw is good. That's also good, so he hits both free throws. The Jazz on offense. Outside Mitchell. Pass to Hayward. Poke loose. Out on his own on the break. Here's Peterson. And that misses. That would have put him up. The battle of the boards has been something to watch. And here is Williams. Outside Mitchell. Shot clock at six. The Jazz need to get one up in a hurry. Kirilenko, no good. Here's Toronto with the ball. Pass to Stoudemire. And we played just over a minute of basketball in the second quarter. Peterson, no good. Hayward outside. And he drives in. He drains that one after two misses. Now one for three. Their defense just falls apart once the ball goes inside. Pass to Christie, launches a three, and again, no good by Toronto. Utah leading. Inside, here's Kirilenko, and Davis with the block. Here's Stoudemire, with the floater, and he lays it in. Give him eight. That's nice work, stopping short of the rim, just laying it over the top. Hayward outside. Here's Kirilenko. He's covered by Siakam. Rejected by Siakam. The massive wingspan of Pascal Siakam. An aggressive defender who uses his physical advantages to stifle shooters. 
Here's Kirilenko, and he makes no mistake. Slam dunk. <laughs> and plays like that one can make the difference in a close game. And it definitely got the bench on their feet, too. This is a close-knit group. They feed off one another's energy. It's Williams, high post. Well, no scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. Oh, and that miss makes him 0 for 4. Not a great start. Pass to Peterson. To the left wing. Up top, Davis. Here's Stoudemire. He got a piece of it, and he recovers it. Puts up a three. Christie's shot is off. Gobert with a screen on Davis. Oh, nice finish from the low block. That was good. Hayward's got four points in the quarter. I like the tenacity from Gordon Hayward. This is a guy who is a gamer. Both teams making substitutions here. And here in the second quarter of action, as we approach four minutes played, Davis a screen. Leonard on the wing. Just five on the clock. Driving inside. The rebound by Malone. And Utah has possession. Their defense is only allowed four points in the quarter. Here's Christie. And that one is hammered home. Got to give him credit for jumping on the ball and making the most at the other end. Boy, inexcusable at this point of the game. They got to be more composed in these moments. We talk about it time and time again. Turnovers are costly, especially when the game is close. Things just don't seem to be clicking for them offensively. Yeah, they really need to find a way to get back on track. Yeah, he was ready for the hop step all the way. He gets the position, holds his ground, and draws the charge. The Raptors making a switch here. Lowry's checked in. Here's Stockton. Nine points in the game. And stolen by Leonard. Lowry outside. There's a screen. And there's the drive. Got it. Lowry's got five. When you are Lowry's size, you need to have a strong floater, and that was a beauty he just put up. Pass to Maravich. Both teams will make substitutions. First team foul. End of the lineup for the Raptors. Here's Danley. Shot clock at five. Alone. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. Yeah, and you never want to let shots at the rim go uncontested. At the line for the Jazz, Carl Alone. Taking two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Break. Two shots.
And he knocks down the first one. And so he hits both. Toronto trailing. Lowry outside. Played it in with a nice touch off the window. Lowry's got four points now in the quarter. We've seen that more than once today. Give him eight. And I love how they're working much harder on the glass this quarter and drumming up more second chance opportunities. Here's Christie. Here's Leonard. Leonard. Rebounded by Stockton. Hey, the struggle is real. He hasn't found much success with his offense today. Passed him alone. Here's Maravich. The three is up. Here's Gobert. Great start so far. Three of three in this one. You see how seriously Gobert takes rebounding, just getting after it. Great activity. Yep, that one goes. Lowry's got nine points. Utah leading. Pass to Malone. Here's Danley. Driving to the basket. Oh, there's a killer two-hand slam. All he needed was a little separation. So effective. Boy, cleared the path, put him in position for a prime time dunk. That's a big time move and a big time finish. Perfect from the field this quarter. Gotta wonder how long he can sustain it. And there's the screen. To the middle. Stolen by Carter. Pass to Lowry. Picked by Carter. It's stolen. Here's Stockton. Fires from the corner. And again, it's Utah. That's the pass you want. Orchestrating the offense, creating for others. And Toronto calls time here. Checked in for Toronto. Pass to Bosch. Rosen outside. And that's going to be a travel. On offense, here's Utah. Here's Stockton. It doesn't go for him. He did the work to get inside, but still, you have to finish. Lowry outside. Pass to Leonard. And that comes off the assist by Lowry. 
Lowry's got his fourth assist with that last one. What poise from Leonard on the catch and shoot. He gets the ball and calmly sinks the shot. Here's Malone. Give him eight points now. Here's Maravich. Six on the shot clock. They set the screen. This one for three. The rebound by Boss. He came out today planning to do as much damage from three-point range as possible. Well, it looks like it's time to change up the plan, guys. Here's Maravich. He's got nine. Pass to Danley. Driving in. Up and over Carter. That one rolls around and rims out. And to Rosen with the basket. On the assist by Leonard. Now just a two-point Utah lead. Here's Maravich. Pass to Stockton. On the take. Toronto grabs the miss. Leonard passes to Lowry. His second foul in as many quarters. We'll see if he backs off or stays aggressive. Second team foul. And there's a minute 45 left to play in the first half of basketball. To the inside, to the paint. Here's Bosch. That ties the game. Give him eight. They've now had assist on each of their last three buckets. Pass to Stockton. Here's Malone. Leonard defending. Just five to shoot. Oh, they need this. Offensive rebound. Malone. Denied by Leonard. A stellar defender. Leonard's impeccable timing on this end allows him to reject shots. Here's Lowry. Out to Leonard. From the arc, gets it to go. Three makes, nine attempts. And that's a defensive lapse. A shooter of his caliber can't be left wide open. Here's Stockton. He's guarded by Lowry. Pass to Maravich. Yep, that one's good. These teams have really gone back and forth. <laughs> yeah, five lead changes already. This one's going to be a battle for sure. There's a four-second difference between the shot and game clock. DeRozan outside. Here's Lowry. And the powerful one-handed slam. And now that's a momentum builder for sure. So important in a close game. Look at his teammates here. They love it. Plays like that going to get them going. They're bringing the energy, the hustle, the fight. And they also didn't give up on that possession. Kyle Lowry has been leading the charge for Toronto. Eight points in the quarter, showing how effective he can be. We're coming right back. Don't go anywhere. Pretty tight battle. We'll soon find out what sort of adjustments were to Squirts during halftime. You look at Kyle Lowry, he's been playing really well. What makes him an exciting player is the ultra-aggressive mindset that we saw over and over in the first half. And not standing around, not settling for perimeter shots. He's looking to attack. And after a fairly even first couple of quarters, this second half could turn out to be a great one as both teams trying to gain an edge. So the Raptors five right now. They've got DeMar DeRozan. He's out there with Kyle Lowry. And it's Leonard in at the four. Man, the defender really went after him. Shooting for Toronto. Chris Boss. Two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First one falls for him. Yeah. 
And that's good as he hits both shots. And so it's Utah with it. Here's Stockton. He's got 11. Pass to Danley. Five on the clock. And denied. He sends it right off the glass. And Lowry with the bucket. Oh, okay. Assist by Carter. Lowry's got 13. Very comfortable operating in the mid-range area. That's a signature shot for Kyle Lowry. Maravich, no good. The Raptors with a lead. Here's Leonard. Count it. The defender is called for the block, and he could turn this into a three-point play. And they're playing rock-solid basketball right now. Really starting to see that lead grow. They have just nailed their halftime adjustments. That's for sure. They don't want to have to sweat this one out. They're looking to pull away. Kawhi Leonard. One shot. One shot. about a minute of action so far in the third quarter. Boy, they'd love if anyone could get a bucket. Yeah, their offense has been grinding to a halt. And it's in there. Great to see players still working the in-between areas. There wasn't much resistance defensively. Here's DeRozan. Out of bounds as Toronto keeps possession. His shot was hindered by that momentous mobile one block. Oh, showing no signs of giving up this lead. That block sent shockwaves into the opposition sails. Out of bounds as Toronto keeps possession. He was all over that pass. That's a cautionary tale. A little bit late there, but you tried to get into your opponent's head. Forced them to go somewhere else with the ball, and he did that. They set the pick, going inside, and the dunk by DeRozan. Wow, you knew that DeRozan has that in him. Didn't think he pulled it off in a game, though. On the AT&T 5G Slam Cam, good looks by our terrific camera crew. Knocked away, and stolen by Leonard. Let's it go from 11. Again, the Raptors good for two more. And just executing at a high level. I mean, I mean, taking what the defense allows and putting in the work. The reason why they stayed aggressive and they have not let up this entire night. And at this point, I wouldn't expect them to. I always love the hard work on the glass. Just great activity. Here's Lowry. And the Raptors getting another bucket right there. This game's taking on a whole new look thanks to this run. I totally agree. They just can't be stopped. They're just firing on all cylinders. Down low. The shot won't fall. And Utah the other way now. Man, they've been careless with the ball tonight. Yeah, it's a lack of focus and a lack of discipline. They're better than this. Oh, 
the gas answer station, make the noise, Joan Fan. A little over two and a half minutes off the clock in this final half of play. They grab their own miss. Malone controls the rebound and the putback. And those second chance buckets are major bonus points if you can get them. There's the screen. Here's Carter. It's hauled in by Eaton. Shut down. This is the way you play defense. This is how you protect the rim. Pass to Danley. Here's Eaton. He's checked by Carter. Eaton's shot is good. Six points for him. When it's this close, every bucket matters. You need good looks. Carter on the wing. Takes the three. And again, Toronto no good. Utah trailing here. We've gone about three and a half minutes here into the third. Shot that time, not on target. Oh, solid D from Leonard. Oh, it's blocked. It deflects off the backboard. The ball's knocked loose. It's stolen by Leonard. From outside the arc. And so the ball out of bounds. DeRozan touched it last. All right, the Jazz making a change here. Gobert's checked in. Leonard's gone 5 for 13 tonight from the floor. Pass to Maravich. Here's Malone. Kawhi Leonard comes up with a rebound. Leonard's got six rebounds here tonight. Oh, wasted no time on that one. DeRozan attracts so much defensive attention. He's learned to use those opportunities to find teammates. Shot by Danley, no good. The Raptors with a lead. Carter, the pass to Lowry. Back to Carter. Pulls up. That one a little long. And the truth is, this league would have been much bigger had he shot better. Better. Pass to Stockton. Here's Maravich. Launches it. Shots good by Stockton. 14 points for him. Easy look when the defender isn't fighting over the screen. Reason why it takes extra energy to do it. You have to trust your defensive rotations, but it's worth it. Here's Stockton. He's got 14. Goes up and lays it in nice and easy. And now it's just a four-point Raptor lead. Oh, explosive crossover. How's that for a move? Here's Lowry. Eight makes out of 15 shots. He's got it going. That pick and roll is where Kyle Lowry shines. The defense left with only bad choices. Checked in for Utah. Here's 
Here's Maravich. 13 points in the game. And Kawhi Leonard gets a whistle that time. That's his third foul so far. Second team foul. Here's Malone. He's got 10. And this kind of selflessness is great to see. Textbook positioning to draw the charge. Here's Stoudemire. Give him eight to the paint. And stolen by Gobert. And they're pushing it up. Here's Malone. That's in. Coming off an assist from Hayward. 12 points for him. And this is why you gave Hayward big money. Not just a score in this offense. Takes a three. Carter. It's good. On the putback. Woo. Hard work creating the second chance opportunity. Here's Maravich. And it's Toronto with a rebound. Carter's got four rebounds now. Here's Stoudemire. Oh, and he blocks it off the glass. Wow. Here's the floater. Good. And he's hit 8 of 14 now. A solid offensive performance. And despite the size mismatch, getting a little aggressive down there in the paint. Proving once again that when you attack with confidence, good things tend to happen. Here's Maravich. 13 points in the game. And Kawhi Leonard gets a whistle that time. That'll get him his fourth foul of the game. That's his, his foul of the evening. He needs to be careful now. Pick and choose where to be aggressive. Outside, Williams. And there's a pick. Pass to Hayward. Ooh, the lead pass was in the perfect spot to set up the layup. Hayward's got six points. Right there, Darren, with the elite court vision. He has so many ways to hurt you on the offensive end. Here's McGrady from behind the arc. And he gets the three ball to go. And Toronto leads by five. Defensively, you have to tight up on him or suffer the consequences. Pass to Boozer. Here's Hayward. And it's Utah scoring again. Setting each other up beautifully. I love it. Eight of their last ten points coming off assist. Takes it inside. Here's Siakam. And Siakam with the slam. A sort of move by Papa Siakam. Slamming it in before anyone can contest it. Pass to Boozer. Back to Williams. Shot clock at six. And here's Mitchell. Off the mark there with a three. Here's Peterson. Guarded by Hayward. Inside. Here's McGrady. Fires the three. Rebounded by the Jazz. Hayward's got his fifth rebound in this one. Outside, Williams. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. From skinny college freshman to NBA All-Star. Quite the transformation for Gordon Hayward. And a chance for a moment to check out the scoring breakdown for the Raptors. They've gotten a lot of second chance points because of the work they've put in on the glass. It's really helped them. I'll tell you something else. The points they've scored on the fast break tonight have been a major factor. Two, two. First one falls. The Raptors making a switch here. Davis is checked in. Both free throws good from Hayward. Here's Stoudemire. Give him eight points now. Pass to Peterson. Let's it go from deep. The rebound by the Jazz. Yeah, that old adage about being too wide open, not a thing. He just missed it. Here's Boozer. Well, he hasn't scored yet, but I'm sure that'll change. Five to shoot. From deep three-point range, Utah gets it back. This has been a close game in a lot of ways, but they do have an edge on the boards. 
Pass to Peterson. The free ball. No luck on that one. And Utah the other way now. He really can't buy a bucket, but his teammates have his back. Mitchell misses. The Raptors for the lead. Here's McGrady with the drive, and he banks in the layup. Give him eight. Bad idea leaving him open. He needs more defensive attention, not less. Walking call called on. Damon Stoudemire. That's his second personal call. 15 foul. At the line for the Jazz. Donovan Mitchell. Two shots. Two shots. And the first one at the line is good. Donovan Mitchell, the combo guard, continues to impress. An all-star caliber talent with a tremendous drive. Both free throws good for Mitchell. 114 left in the third. Here's Stoudemire. Williams defending. Pass to Stoudemire. Here's Peterson. Outside for Davis. Just three to shoot. And the basket by Stoudemire. Defensive mix up there. He's the last guy you want to leave open. Now here's Mitchell. Tightly guarded. With the 10 footer. Here's Gobert. Ooh, he's locked in. Dreams his fifth shot in his many attempts. Inside, Gobert is a nightmare with his height. It's tough to create good coverage. Davis for the screen on Williams. Here's Stoudemire. And he drops in the layup off the glass. 13 points in the game. When you use it right, the pump fakes as effective a move as there is. Outside, Williams. Here's Boozer. No good. Misses at the buzzer. The third quarter comes to a close. Raptors out in front, up by four. And when we return, we'll get the fourth quarter rolling here on 2K Sports. All right, let's take a look at our assist of the game presented by State Farm. You know, I'm kind of stoked that this was a choice because I love this pass. A remarkable find. He put his court vision on full display. Yeah, you also have the location of the pass. Puts it right where it needs to be, where his man can do something with it. And with these teams locked in a very close contest, this fourth quarter promises to be a good one. Here's Maravich. Hayward outside. Pass to Stockton. Back to Hayward. Up and over Carter. Hayward's shot is off. And here are the Raptors now. They've led by as much as 10. And for the Raptors. Oh, nice one-handed jam there, B.A. Hey, little exclamation point. And for Utah. Pass to Malone. Over Leonard. Malone can't get it to go. Very surprising. He gets the ball where he wants it in a decent matchup. Here's Stoudemire. Picked it. A few possessions into the fourth. Just over a minute play. Here's Malone. Pass to Hayward. And stolen by Leonard. Jumps up. Ooh, and Leonard throws it down. Incredible effort by Kawhi. Picks it up with the claw, then off to the races. And a little over a minute and a half gone by in the fourth. Now Gobert. Pass to Stockton. The three is up, and the three-pointer goes. And defensively, how do you leave him that open in crunch time? Picked by Carter. Here's Stoudemire. Out to the right wing, Christie. And it's off from three-point range. Every player goes through this. When your shots aren't going down, it can ding your confidence. 
Here's Stockton. He's checked by Carter. Gobert passes to Hayward. Clock at six. The baseline J. The rebound by Boss. Here's Carter. Drives to the hoop. And it's slammed in by Carter. That's a nice read. The value of keeping your eyes up. Utah calls timeout. Let's give Coach credit. He's trying to find a way to squeeze the most out of every possession. Critical part of the game. You have to be flexible. You have to be able to adjust what you're doing. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with Allie LaForce. Over that last break, I listened to Utah's coach address his team. He said, guys, you don't have to chuck up the first three you see. Keep your heads up. Keep looking for the best option. Let's see how they respond. Back to you guys. Okay, thanks, Allie. to the wing on the left. Pass to Stockton. Here's Malone. Right wing. Just five on the clock. Here's Eden. The shot, no good. And it's Toronto taking it the other way. They've led by as much as ten. And it's good. Two points. And it's a nine-point Toronto lead. Look at the way DeMar just shrugged off the foul and still finished the play. Incredible. And it's good as he snugs it right through the net. I'm not sure if he was trying to show off or what, but when you're that open, you got to go straight to the basket. The fadeaway was clearly a bad choice. Oh, not the defensive effort they need to cut into the lead. For a good call, you have to at least try to protect the rim. Also, if you can't get stops at this point, it really doesn't matter what you do at the offensive end. On defense, the Raptors. They've only given up five points here in the fourth. Stockton. Here's Maravich. That's a nice contest by DeRozan. He's got all the tools to be an excellent defender. And adds a few more points to their lead, showing off some style. Wow, that was prime time top right there. Here's Danley. He's checked by Carter. He takes it in. Danley gets the bucket. That's a well-timed, well-coordinated play. Comes right off the pick for the lay-in. Lowry, the pass to Leonard. Here's Malone. Pass to Maravich. From deep. The rebound by Carter. Carter's got his sixth rebound on the night. Only one turnover in the first half. He's been sloppy with the ball since. First team foul. Here's Danley. He's checked by Carter. There's the drive. And blocked. That one goes careening off the glass. For three, Lowry. Rebound, Utah. He's been of no help stretching the floor tonight. Just one three in the first half. Nothing in the second. Pure from three-point range. 21 points in the game. Yeah, he's leading the charge for them. But let's be honest, he needs more help if they're going to get out in front. The reason why is not just scoring. It's the way he's doing it. Efficient. That's what you need at this point in the game. And so it's Utah with it. Following the bucket by the Raptors. Maravich, no good. And the truth is, I've been there. He's trying to find the rhythm on his shot. He feels like he's close, and that's why he keeps shooting. 
Pass to DeRozan. To the inside. Leonard. Good. And it's DeRozan who picks up the assist. DeRozan's got three assists tonight. And you know Coach loves seeing his offense operate at this level. Great passing out there. Here's Malone. Knocked loose. Stolen by Lowry. To the middle. And he throws it down. What a terrific lead pass. What a two-way play. Just tremendous. Yeah, the steal was slick. The slam topped it off. Turning defense into offense. Every coach talks about it. Perfect example right there. Carter on the wing. Off target with the three. Challenging stretch here for Utah. Pass to Stockton. Here's Maravich. Here's Danley. Shot clock at five. There's the screen. Here's Stockton. Releases from the wing and drills it. They've struggled, but hey, you cannot lay it at his feet. Offensively, he's getting it done. It done. To the inside. And the Jazz pushing it up now. Here's Danley. And no good. Oh, nice D from Carter. On the wing, DeRozan. Pass to Lowry. Now here's Leonard. And again, Toronto, no good. Here's Stockton. Here's Maravich. Down low. Here's Malone. Oh, he gets it to fall, and that makes it just a single-digit deficit. A timing. That can be the difference between a between this and a turnover. Pass to DeRozan. And he's going for the lob. Oh, what a nice defensive play to disrupt the lob. Looking to end this cold spell. And it's Toronto with a rebound. They held a 12-point lead earlier. Inside, Leonard passes to Lowry. Stanley grabs a miss. Utah trailing here. Pass to Maravich. Here's Stockton. Oh, solid D from Leonard. Now here's DeRozan. He's closely guarded. Good on the shot. DeRozan's gotten four this quarter. Nice release from DeMar DeRozan. He can make that shot if he gets a good look. Maravich, no good. Something's off about him this quarter. And it also shows you how difficult this game is. He's just a little bit off, but it can result in missing everything. They're searching for a way to score. Yeah, buckets have been very tough to come by. Pass to Eden. Out to the right wing. Fires for three. And he takes that one up and powers it through. And that's why you don't give up on the glass. And his efforts, well rewarded right there. Working hard, beating everyone to the ball. He does this night in and night out. Out of bounds. It'll be Utah's ball. For the Jazz, this one not looking good. The floater. And that's two points on the layup. 25 points in the game. That's nice work. Stopping short of the rim. Just laying it over the top. Pass to Carter. Here's Danley to the paint. Down low. Here's Maravich from about 19. Denied by Leonard. From downtown. Yes. Great play by DeRozan to set him up. Leonard's got 14 points now in the second half. To the middle. Here's Malone. Second shot opportunity. And he takes it up and lays it in. Good things come to those who hustle. He creates the second chance opportunity. Lowry left side. And 101 left in the game. And he makes it on the layup. Lowry's got 19 points. Lowry is just so quick with the ball with both hands that he can lose a defender in a hurry. Tipped away. And stolen by Leonard. 
Here's Bosch. Shot blocked. Here's Stockton. He's guarded by Lowry. Out to the wing. 30 seconds left to play in the fourth. And Toronto has possession. They've got a nine-point lead. DeRozan outside. Blocked! Out of bounds as Toronto keeps possession. Out of bounds as Toronto keeps possession. And so here is Toronto. They held a 12-point lead earlier. Here's Lowry. Misses with a tough leaning jump shot. So it's Toronto picking up the win. It ends up being a fairly easy road win. Those are so hard to come by. It's never easy to take a game in someone else's building. For Steve Smith, Grant Hill, and Ali LaForce, I'm Brian Anderson. Thank you for watching this 2K Sports coverage of the NBA. Now it's time to present our New Balance player of the game, Kawhi Leonard. The Jazz are still the winningest team in the history of the NBA without a title, even though this virtual title would not have counted for anything official. Obviously, I guess if one of their fans had found this, it would have been nice had the Jazz come out on top. Jazz got out to an early lead, but Toronto took the lead in the third quarter and then held on for the victory. And I think the Jazz would be fine if they never had to play Kawhi Leonard again. He didn't score as much as he did with the Clippers, but he still had a key block, three-pointer, and a steal late in the game to seal the win for the Raptors. He had 21 points overall to go along with 10 rebounds and eight steals. Very solid defensive effort. Kyle Lowry finished with 19 points and nine assists. Chris Bosh for the Raptors had 18 points and 15 rebounds. And for the Jazz, Stockton balled out tonight. He had 25 points. He's known more of a passer and a good steals guy. He leads NBA history in both of those categories, but he was top point man tonight for the Jazz. Carl Malone added 18 points, 11 rebounds, and 7 steals. And I think Maravich is the one they probably would look to to do a little bit more on offense. He finished with 16 points and 7 assists, but he only shot 6 of 22 from the floor. If you want to watch the tournament in order, check out the Thunder vs. the Magic next. If you're here to follow the Raptors on their journey through the tournament, go to Game 24 in the linked playlist. Thanks for watching.